it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and it is day 28 of October, so it's actually my son's birthday. It's his 16th birthday. Holy moly. Um, yeah, maybe I should have done a picture of him, but I didn't. <laughs> Instead, I have a picture of my daughter and I taking a selfie in the Mercedes dealership bathroom. Hmm. I didn't think that one through very well. So I have this uh, piece of white cardstock that I had some leftover Tickle Me Turquoise um, from a couple of days ago when I did a layout. I had extra on my on my packaging. So I just went ahead and um, put it on another piece and I decided, you know what, that is going to be the base of an upcoming layout. And today's layout is perfect. So today's layout is from Inspired Blueprints. And you can see in the background, it has some mixed media and then it has a vertical four by six photo. So this is the one I picked. And then um, it has a banner on top. Now I am not going to do the banner per se. So I am trying to use my How to Kill a Kit with Style. And so for the month of October, what I did instead of making a full kit was I basically just made a kit of embellishments. Now, they don't all match, <laughs> um, but it was just a bunch of stuff that I really wanted to play with or use up this month. So that is my thought process. So what I did was go through all my goodies and uh, basically pull out anything that I thought would work. So... Instead of your traditional banner, I am going to do a banner of embellishments. So I'm looking at it right now and it has a ton of stuff. So a ton of stickers from the sticker sheet. I did pull in that quail. Now, why? I don't know. But he's cute and who where's the rationale? I'm usually really good at rationalizing. I'm really just going to have to go with these cute. <laughs> so, yeah, no rationale for the quail today. And the quail is even going to get a bow, like a bow tie. No rationale for that either. This is kind of a hodgepodge, and I kind of like it. So, I do have these perspectives from Bramble Fox, and it says, Love Our Bubble, which is basically in relation to the craziness of the world. I understand that. Um, but we haven't been in a bubble. So, I don't really have a layout or a story to tell about a bubble. So... How I am doing this is, so we bought a fairly old Mercedes and my husband wanted to get some new wheels on it. So we were in uh, the big city close to us. So we went to a dealership to look at them. Well, while we were there, I had to use the restroom and so did my daughter. And we go into the restroom and we're like, this is crazy. They have like mouthwash, fancy mouthwash things in the bathroom. So we took picture. <laughs> so I actually have journaled on this one and it basically just talks about that we are small, small town girls. So when we saw the mouthwash in a Mercedes bathroom, we had to take a picture. Like we're just not used to that. I'm sure... <laughs> That's like a thing in big cities all the time. And it's probably good because it's a dealership and, you know, you have to talk to people. I mean, now, you know, everywhere wears masks, so it doesn't matter what your breath smells like other than to you. Um, but <laughs> I mean, I guess it makes sense now. But 
at the time we were like, that's so funny. It's like a high-end restaurant that has that. And we're in a bathroom. But anyway, so what I have done is just put a ton of embellishments on the top. And then I added a little spot down at the bottom where I can do my journaling. So that is pretty, that's pretty much it. It's, it's kind of a super simple layout. I did do some stitching, um, some zigzag stitching on the top and bottom. The background paper is from Go the Scenic Route um, from Paige Evans because um, I have that paper pad that I am working through this uh, month as well. And actually, I think I'm doing pretty good. I was just looking at it. Of course, now I don't know where it is. I think there's probably maybe five pieces of paper left. Like, I can't tell you the last time I killed a paper pad. Like, that's a lot. That's a lot of paper to go through. So, um, have you killed paper pads lately? I would love to know. Um, so, I am using my Nouveau Deluxe Wet Adhesive just because of the mixed media on the background. I feel like my tape runner doesn't, doesn't stick as well. So I'm going to use that. I am going to add some enamel dots. So a couple of the pieces that I have added are very red. And in my kit, I had like one, two, three, four, five, I had six red enamel dots left, and that was it on one piece. So I was like, you know what? They're totally going on this layout. So I am going to add those. Right now I'm just gluing on my perspectives, which they're so cool. It's almost like a frosted acrylic. So you can kind of see through it, and so you, you don't see any of the glue that I used. But you can see the mixed media. Um, you can see a little bit of the patterns where those bubbles are. So here is where I'm looking at it, trying to decide what needs. I was gonna add, <laughs> I was gonna add those enamel dots, but that's when I remembered. No, I have these red ones. So here they are. They are gonna go on and they are going to be finished which is super exciting. That is one more piece of packaging done. And then I am going to top it off with some sequins. So I grabbed the storybook sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps. These um, were for, from September. And I am just gonna pull the blue ones. I decided not to pull the pinky ones. I don't know, because <laughs> there's no rhyme or reason. I just decided to pull the blue ones. So I'm going to scatter a couple of those on that top ephemera banner. Now I'm looking at it and I do have one banner piece that I realize looks like a tag. Um, and there's a hole in it. And if Sandy were here, she would tell me that it can't be naked. So I either need to add some twine to that or... I could add another bow or even another sequin. Something's going to go on there. Um, I've already done the pictures, so you won't see it in the close-ups, but um, don't worry. That hole will be covered. It will be all done. So that's going to do it for me today. Um, again, make sure you check out the description box below to make sure you see what everybody else is doing with this sketch. And then um, check the hashtag. Um, and if you're playing along, please use the hashtag. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave them down below. And I will see you tomorrow. So remember to wear your crown. Bye.